Okay, this is uh, the morning of the 21st. It rained all night. It's 7 a.m. This is where I camped last night. This will probably be the only time I have the camera out of its plastic bag. Uh, there's the plastic bag. I keep the camera in the ammo can, which you probably know by now. But when it rains, I stick the ammo can in that plastic bag and Ziploc it and keep it on top. And then there's my pack cover also, which will go around it, which makes it pretty difficult to get the camera out. Okay, it rained all night. Uh, the tent's thoroughly wet, but uh, it did keep me mostly dry. Uh, the foot of my sleeping bag got wet up to about probably a foot and a half because of my feet were touching the end of the tent. And I, that's what you got to expect with a $25 tent that you're a little bit too big for. But otherwise, for a $25 tent, we had a real soaker last night, and uh, it's held up pretty well. I mean, you can buy, I calculated you could buy 12 to 15 of these tents for the price of one big Agnes, depending on how much you pay for it, you know, between 300 and 375. So uh, we'll see about the big Agnes when I get back to see if they'll repair it or send me a replacement for that zipper. I'm not too thrilled with that going. Um, it's supposed to rain through tomorrow which means unfortunately tonight will be very uncomfortable because the tent is soaking wet. And it's really, it wasn't bad inside, but as soon as I folded it up, you know, there's just no way to get the water off unless it's dry out. And I don't think it's gonna be dry today. But I might get lucky, who knows, this could blow through. I gotta go over a 7,000 foot peak this morning or this afternoon, I should be there about noon. It's about 12 miles from here, which is what I've been dreading. Uh, if I get an opportunity, I'll take the camera out and get some shots. But otherwise, as you can see, the higher elevations, which is where I'm going. By the way, I'm at 5,000 feet right now. So uh, you got all those clouds up there. And once you're up there, you can't see anything. So uh, I'll talk to you later. Okay, I figured I'd do a quick shot of the lake that I was camping at from up in the mountain. Since it's not all sopped in yet. Plus, it looks really cool with these clouds drifting by. Hear all those crazy birds. That's where it was, right down there. This is entering Yakima Reservation.
Okay, this is pretty much the high point on the trail. As you can see, there's still a lot of snow up here, and we got have to cross it. I just crossed the uh, snowpack over there. I'm actually seeing what looks like sleet or snow a little bit coming down, believe it or not. Uh, there are ice packs over there I have to cross. I saw some people ahead of me crossing them, and this cloud's blowing through here. Before, there was a little bit of a view when I started unpacking the camera, and now it's all gone. All right, I'll talk to you later. Okay, no way I expected this climb to be like this. Uh, the profile looked like it just went up to mile 2285 and then straight down, but it didn't. It went up to 285 and then we ridge walked. You can't really see it now. Well, you can't actually. That black spot, that black trail between all the snow. Well, if you can see it, that's the ridge. And it's very thin and on both sides it's a very steep drop off. In fact, this behind me is one of the sides with the drop off, and then the other side over there. I'm in a relatively wide area, then I have to go up this trail right here, around hopefully the peak. And really, I just want to get off this mountain, quite frankly, you know, before anything happens. The rock is real loose, shell. I mean, if you slipped, whoo, you're, you're a goner, that's for sure. All right. Okay, I'm off the top of that big mountain. Uh, it's misting, rain still. Believe it or not, on the other side, of the, right around this hill here, it's raining. Uh, I got rained on, sleeted on. It sucked up there, bad. I'm glad to be off there. I don't know, I might actually push to try to get into the White Pass today. Although it's still 15 miles from here and it's like three o'clock, so that isn't gonna happen. But uh, it's just miserable, man. All right, later. Okay, folks, I'm in my tent. It's about 5.40 p.m. and uh, if you can hear it, it's raining again. Uh, I'm resigned to the fact that it's probably gonna rain four, four out of every five days that I'm out here. So, no point continuing to complain. I guess I'll embrace the horror of being uh, wet and cold all the time. Anyway, I'll be into uh, White Pass tomorrow. It's about nine miles away. I'm at uh, mile 2294.65. Uh, I got about another thousand feet to climb in the morning. Oh, here's something interesting. We got all this uh, rain, but I have this much water left for the night. So I'll be eating some raw pepperoni, or pepperoni straight without cooking anything. And uh, hopefully I won't get too wet tonight, even though the tent's pretty wet from last night. Uh, get some sleep, get up early and just go into town. Alright, talk to you then.